It is Wall to Wall Country, Walls 102. It is the morning doghouse. It is uh, 28 minutes after 8 o'clock in the morning. We have a little series we've got going on called Walls 102 and you. We're uh, inviting people from the uh, from the community to step into the studio, tell us a bit about themselves, and join us on the show. Today, it is Officer Ed Yauk. You are a police officer for how many years? Uh, I've been in law enforcement since 1988. And that's, you know, you actually, that was a good way to correct me because I said a police officer and you changed it to I've been in law enforcement because you have done all sorts of different things in law enforcement, right? Yeah. I We've been kind of in, all uh, over. Yeah, I started in corrections and uh, maximum security corrections down in Pontiac, Illinois. And mm-hmm. then uh, from there went to being a police officer. And then you got to do, like, neat undercover work? Or is it scary undercover work? What uh, I know you did undercover work, right? I did almost 15 years worth of undercover work, yeah. Um, it was awesome. It was a, a very cool career. You did, though, like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you did, like, the stuff that people see in the movies where you actually went in deep sometimes, Like, right? pretended to be a part of something. Yeah, I did uh, multiple gang infiltrations. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I got to do some exciting, fun work. Uh, the look on I, his face is, I don't know if I want to call it exciting. I, I was scared to death the whole time. I was. was yeah. <laughs> I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't scared. Scary so, stuff, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Is. So then that led to, uh, after doing that for a while, that, that led to people asking you, because of your experience, to be on the TV show Gangland on occasion, right? Yeah, they did uh, a series, and uh, some of them were... Uh, based on motorcycle gangs, and they were in, in our area, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, Chicago land area, all okay. the way out to the, the Illinois Valley. Okay, um, and that was the one of the clubs that uh, I infiltrated. They did a show on, and they asked me to be on and advise on the show, and so I did. And then on the show, they they masked your face and masked your voice and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and that was only because I was still working undercover at that time. I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah, because so that would kind of blow your cover. I was gonna because we're going to put your picture up on our Facebook page, and we're uh, we're going to we're not masking your voice. Are you safe? I, I well, <laughs> safe as you could be. Yeah, right? yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Because how long have you been retired for? I retired uh, in 2015. Okay. So uh, from my police agency, and then I did a couple of uh, a year and a half uh, with the LaSalle County State's Attorney's Office, uh, mm-hmm. overseeing a a drug interdiction unit. Oh, okay. And then all of this led to you moving on to a reality TV show, a, a different one. Uh, we're going to ask you about that show and the reality of reality TV shows. Cool. Coming up. All right. It's Walls 102. It's Wall to Wall Country. Walls 102. It is the morning doghouse. 843 in the morning. Uh, we will tell you the new J.P. Chevy about the money time coming up in just a bit. Right now, we have Officer Ed Yauk in the studio. And before we did our money giveaway there, we were talking to him about reality TV. You had wandered from gangland into being a consultant into uh, being asked to be on a reality TV show. How did that come about? Well, uh, a producer out of Minnesota uh, contacted me and asked me if I would mind being on a reality show kind of outlining some of the police work that I'm involved in. Did they just find you, though? Did you apply? No, there was no application. It was, they literally found me through my gangland episode. Okay. Through your yeah. connections, kind of? Yeah, so they... It's they all about who you know. It, well, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or what you know, I guess. Sure, or both. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, so uh, the next thing you know, you are filming a reality TV show. Yeah. Does your world feel like it was just suddenly upside down? Very much so. Um, in in many regards, it did. It, but a lot of it was kind of normal because I'm used to having cameras on me. I'm used to having hidden microphones. Um, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yes. So there wasn't a big stretch other than... Yeah, as an undercover police officer, you were regularly recording yourself. You yeah. were regularly... Huh. Yeah. I hadn't made that connection. Yeah. Interesting. So here's a question, and I love asking this of anyone who's been in reality TV, and I kind of already know the answer. But Say, I, how real is it? How real is reality <laughs> TV? Here's it. So you guys are after each other in the in the. It, it, it's the re- name of it was Outlaw Country. Yep. There were bad guys and good guys, and they filmed the bad guys and the good guys, and you're after the bad guys. But were you like having a beer with them after the show? Uh, no, not 
during the, the actual filming, no. Uh, uh, but sometimes. <laughs> after the show was canceled, if you will, uh, we knew we weren't getting a another year. Um, unfortunately, uh, one of the, several of the cast members uh, died, and I ended up going to the funeral and uh, got along with everybody there. Sure. So, well, here's another. So, let, let's say you are doing a raid in the TV show and you bust down the door. Does the director say, hold on, hold on, everybody, back in place, like break that door down again? Give or take. They, uh, on certain aspects, the actual raids that you see are, they're real time. Okay. Uh, but they will go back and do certain aspects of, like, uh, I know one was we blew a door with an explosive charge. Okay. And they, we ended up doing that several times times because they <laughs> couldn't come up with the right angle for right. what they okay. were looking for. Blow the door again. Put another door on there. Blow yeah. the door again. That's exactly Put another door right. on there. Yeah. So, uh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, it was crazy. It All gets right. monotonous. There you go. All right, so what is he up to now? We'll, uh, we'll talk to you about that. It's coming up. It's Walls 102. When you have to get up. Carrie Underwood, Church Bells. It's Wall to Wall Country, Walls to Two, the morning doghouse. Nine minutes in front of nine o'clock. We got Officer Ed Yauk in the studio with us. I guess I should say TV star Ed Yauk in the studio with us now. Do you like that? Uh, personality. Television personality. Yeah. Okay, I'm television personality. So we were talking about, when you're police, Johnson, we talked about your time on Gangland. Then we talked mm -hmm. about your time uh, on Outlaw Country. Uh, so you are now, you've been working with. The guy who was the big brother on The Wonder Years, he was yeah. the executive producer of Outlaw Country. Y yep, right? great great guy, great friend, Jason Hervey, yes. And now you're also working with the guy who does the CSI TV shows. Yeah, Anthony Zyker. Yep. Okay, and what are you doing now with them? I'm a consulting producer with them. Uh, so basically I just give advice on how police works, uh, some of the evidentiary value of the different things. So you're kind of uh, like a consultant that they talk to to see if they're getting it right in the show. Yeah, and then uh, I also bring show ideas to the production company. So there's cases that I know about that I was either involved in directly or that I've heard about through other mm -hmm. people. And I'll bring them and say, I think this is a really cool case and we should take a look the at it. The guidelines kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, so that's cool. How many different shows are you working on right now? Gosh, uh, at least a half dozen or six to eight. That they're all working on. Yeah, that we're actively pursuing. That yeah. you are part of. Yeah. That's exciting. Can we say the names of any of those shows yet? I'm not. No. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. There, there's some of them that, uh, even though they've been pitched and we have some network interest uh, until, you know. How frustrating sense. is it when you tell them this is how police do stuff and they say to you, and I know they do this sometimes, you, you say this is how police do stuff and they say, yeah, but that doesn't make for a good show. Here's how we're going to do it. Does that happen sometimes? Absolutely happens all the time. Is that um, is that frustrating? It is frustrating. <laughs> it, it, it absolutely is because you know I, I thought you were going to say that's show business, but no, you <laughs> no, it, it's frustrating, and, and I want people to understand that, that there is a lot of realities in law enforcement, and the TV shows sometimes get it wrong. Right. Well, because it's more fun. Like they, the TV show, they have needs to make to be a show fun. out of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, and even reality TV isn't reality, right? Well, yeah, a large part of it is, and it's, like 50 -50, it's, it's yeah. any more they don't even use reality TV as a. A, a description. It's more sure. unscripted. There you is what go. They'll call it. There you go. Improv. Right. Yeah. <laughs> unscripted. We improvise our lines. Yes, okay. absolutely. There you go. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today on the show. Well, by the way, thanks for having me. Very interesting stuff. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. And uh, when you when those shows that you're working on become actual shows, you can say the name of. Come back and tell us. Okay. Absolutely. There you go. It's Walls One Hundred Two. <laughs>